Hello my soccer universe. Well, given the last craze happening and I already said if you watched my Champions League um, playoff first leg review video you already saw that I have two new Lusk jerseys but I also got another one which will be very helpful for my Premier League jersey review which will start tomorrow. Um, where shall we start? Maybe I should start with the last jerseys because we already seen those. Uh, the first one that I got and I got this already on Monday for my wife because I knew that this uh, jersey is gonna go um, out of stock soon because they changed it. I got this the current last home jersey which is the typical Austrian jersey. I almost want to say abomination but it's it's overall it, it's now a cult jersey because that's the jer jersey that last beat Basel in. But um, yeah, I had to get used to it. I mean, meanwhile, I, lo I love it. But when it came out, I couldn't believe it. I mean, first of all, um, not black and white stripes, but rather gray stripes. And then a pink sponsor, uh, pink sleeves. I mean, we've been selling our sleeves as of late. They were just yellow like this one. But uh, you had just yellow here with the bank logo on it hugely this bank logo now we went raglan sleeves with pink and pink running down the sides and you see it goes red and gray and the gray then uh, is on the stripes this is all this new sponsor that we have bwt which is now on the sleeves which is best water technology uh up austrian firm that uh sells water filters and so on uh, but you know, there's more going on. If you look at the jersey, you have the main logo as it should be. You have here the bank logo, of course, then the last logo. It's kind of an updated version. Finally, you have the Upper Austrian Coal of Arms. Um, you have the Bundesliga logo, Austrian Bundesliga. And here's the manufacturer logo. And since uh, 2016, Lask is manufacturing their own jerseys under the name Forza ISK. So this was this is actually the original last logo. This is the logo that the fans wanna have back. Then of course you have sponsor here. But then uh, you also have written here Gemeinsam some sind wir Lask means together we are Lask and then since the year, uh, the team was founded in 1908 you have 1908% for you. It basically says, and then um, if you thought those are enough sponsors, no, we have three more here. An energy company and then <laughs> two more. So yeah, um, typical Austrian madness, I have to say. But on the other side, um, yeah, this is now a cult jersey. So look at it in all, all its glory. I will... I wanted to have it now in my collection. They are replacing this now. They already replaced it. Um, it is now with black and white stripes because the fans said the last jersey should, the colors should never be compromised. So the striping is now in black and white. It actually looks a little bit better, but is it as much? Is it the jersey that beat Basel? No, it is not. So we have this one. Then I got the new. I have to say the new European last jerseys are the, the best last jerseys in a long time, although they're not the typical last jerseys. I they only sell for now this black away jersey, and they are selling the uh, a pink alternate jersey. I'll show you a picture here, but let's open this one. It's also kind of special. First of all, uh, look at it. It's a very clean design as compared to, to the other one. Uh, it's black with white pinstripes. The home jersey is white with black pinstripes, which will only be available at the start of uh, whatever European group stage we qualify to. It has the same last logo that I showed you. It still has the Upper Austrian uh, coat of arms because we are the team of Upper Austria. Uh, this is something and now the manufacturer we're not putting our brand we want to get the main the other sponsor that is on the sleeves in there so we made them the manufacturer in in in, in a way it is honestly cheating but uefa didn't say anything about it uh the the collar is kind of clean except as it says lask on the back and then there's nothing here on the back so this is your typically european very clean jersey that i love a lot and now depending where we'll play Champions League or Europa League, I will get the logos, I will order them um, 
online and I will try to get the logos on there. I really want to get the white one. I really want to get the pink one too. Maybe the pink one even more, but although the, the white one is the one that they play now, Champions League uh, playoffs. So let's see how the playoff will go. Uh, it's funny that here it says Forza Ice Cup because this is actually the money manufacturer. I'm, I'm this cheat here. I find kind of funny, but you know, UEFA didn't say anything. And yeah, since I'm doing this video now after last closed, uh, directly after the game, um, I'm I want to open and wear it. But I got also a jersey of a much much bigger team for five euros. Picked it up today. Uh, actually, it was someone at work who brought it to me. Is very useful for my Premier League jersey review. Manchester United 10 11. Got it for five euros. And I actually have to say, um, you know, I was not sure about the white collar and so on, uh, because you know, there should be some black as well. But I have to say, this uh, jersey looks nice. They made it to a Champions League final that year. Uh, I was surprised about the logo. I thought it will be, I mean, it's nice done, but I didn't think it will be on such a shield. But yeah, um, sponsor is in good condition. Um, I do, although I found it first weird, um, this uh, pattern, but I really like that on the left sleeve, there is a little devil on there. So I like that. And then of course it's a Man United FC. Pretty good condition for five euros. Uh, nice pickup, I have to say. So I'm happy about that. Uh, am I a big menu fan? No, I'm not, but um, you know, I have now Manchester United, which is one of the bigger teams, <laughs> one of the biggest teams. And I think if I have Inter Milan, I definitely should have Manchester United. I already got a hanger for it. I will put it up there and you will see it in my jersey review for the Premier League, probably the first time. Let me know what you thought about these jerseys. My favorite of the ones I got, I mean, it's the black one. And I'm happy that, I'm really happy that I, A, my wife wanted to have it, and I'm really happy that I have this one. Uh, very interesting material. It's very smooth, very thin, but also very stretchy. It's a four-way stretch material, which is uh, kind of nice, to, to be honest. So uh, that's definitely interesting. Anyway, let me know what you thought about these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!